learning more now about a house fire in Wares Valley and why neighbors are thankful it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Yeah, so the Wares Valley Fire Chief tells us that they were called to the 3500 block of Deerfield Circle early this morning for that fire. They say a woman was inside but was able to escape with minor injuries. WAT6 on your side's Kirsty Crawford tells us more now about what happened. Around 5 this morning, Deborah Barnes woke up to see flashing lights coming from outside her window. As I was looking, I, then I noticed that the house next door to where the ambulance was was on fire, and it was our friend. Her friend's house already consumed by flames by the time she saw it. She says they had to be about 15 feet tall. By the time I woke up and saw it, uh, it had all, almost all burnt. There was about a quarter of the bottom still left that was still burning. According to Barnes, the home was two stories tall, Victorian style. She saw numerous firefighters working hard to contain the flames. The weather, although cold, was in their favor. They did an excellent job and thank goodness it was not, this did not happen on Monday when the winds were so, so strong. Um, and it wasn't windy. When I came out, it, there was no wind at all. Barnes knew the fight wasn't easy. A few departments came out to help. Wares Valley, Walden's Creek, and Pigeon Forge. They'd already been battling the fire for a few hours, so she wanted to pitch in. The fireman I was talking to said coffee would be great, and that I went and made a pot of coffee and was uh, glad to bring it out to them. She was grateful. Her friend was out of the house safe, and no other homes were damaged. Lives we cannot replace, but homes we can, so. In Wares Valley, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6, on your side. Kirsty, thank you. We're working to find out how that woman who was inside at that home is doing tonight. Firefighters say that the investigation will begin once what's left cools off.